what is more likely, that the laws of nature have been suspended in your favor and in a way that you approve, or that you've made a mistake? And why, why should they take offense that I don't believe in their God or any other God? And I'd say to them, you know, tell me the reasons why you don't believe in all the other gods, and that's the reason I don't believe in yours. Don't you sometimes feel sad about breaking all these myths apart <laughs> no no because I I, I think it's uh, some myths are, are, are deserve to be broken apart out of respect for the human intellect that um, no when you're writhing on the ground and froth is coming out of your mouth you're having an epileptic seizure you have not been invaded by the devil we got this one figured out <laughs> My name is uh, Benjamin Polster, or Ben, as most people like to call me. I am from Rockville, Maryland. It is a suburb about 20 minutes north of uh, Washington, D.C. Well, my father was born and raised in a Jewish household. Um, Judaism has been part of his family history for, I think he told me, over a century. My mom converted to Judaism, I think right when she married my dad. There were like a lot of rules that I hated like until I was maybe 12 years old. On Saturdays I had to go to a synagogue which I absolutely hated. I have ADHD and when I was younger it was very severe. Sitting in a temple for up to three hours every Saturday morning was just like painful to me. It was so boring. I remember I just hated it so much my family we kept sort of kosher like I was allowed to eat cheeseburgers and everything however pork wasn't allowed shellfish wasn't allowed either so therefore like whenever I went to birthday parties as a kid um, my parents they would always tell adults at the party to not let me eat like pepperoni pizza or anything else that is not kosher and that really really annoyed me I think this is the thing that I hated most about being Jewish. I had to go to a religious school twice a week. I had to go on uh, Sundays and Tuesdays. I hated the fact that we had homework. I hated that I had to miss hockey games and hockey practices to attend. Now that I'm older, I think it's even more ridiculous because my parents, they were paying tons of money for me to play hockey. The whole idea of God when I was a young kid kind of sounded like you know, a fairy tale, you know? It sounded like, it just always sounded fiction to me. But like, I still, I guess I still kind of believed in it. I guess the people at uh, my religious schools and everything would do everything to like brainwash me and try to get me to conform to their beliefs, which is expected. My favorite memory of uh, being Jewish was probably by far my bar mitzvah. I had family come from Canada, from France, like from all over the country. I even met family members who I have ne haven't seen since I was a baby. Honestly, really cool to meet new people. Had a fun party. Honestly, it's an experience I'll never forget. Uh, if you question the Bible, basically people will turn their backs on you. When you're down there in hell, burning alive with demons gnawing on your balls and, you know, horrible fucking Satan there with his pitchfork jamming it in your butt. They'll just tell you you're going to hell. Sure enough to go around preaching to everyone, telling everyone that doesn't believe that they're damned for eternity. An indefinite amount of suffering and torment and pain and fire and flames and hell. Honestly, hell doesn't really seem like a bad place. You're gonna regret that you spent your earthly life trying to disprove what you know to be true. Over the past year, I've actually run into a few other atheists, and I've met people whose families are just completely shutting them out of their lives because they don't have the same beliefs or they have a lack of belief. I think that's absolutely terrible. You took care of your child for 18 years. You gave birth to him or her. You're just throwing your baby out the window because, because they think differently than you. I think that is the most fucked up.